Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today's glad tiding is actually the first glad tiding that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al Baqarah says, Wabashir al Ladina amanu wa amilu salihat and nalahum jannat. Give glad tidings to those who believe and do good actions that for them are heavens. Heavens with flowing rivers. The first glad tiding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran is the glad tiding of heaven, of paradise. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first to allow me and all of us to reach and reunite in paradise, inshaAllah, Allahumma ameen. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in a hadith Qudsi, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has informed us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, أَعْدَدْتُ لِعِبَادِ الصَّالِحِينَ مَا لَا عَيْنٌ رَأَتْ وَلَا أُذُنٌ سَمِعَتْ وَلَا خَطَرَ عَلَى قَلْبِ بَشَرْ I have prepared for my righteous servants what an eye has never seen before and what an ear has never heard before and what a mind has never imagined. That is what awaits you and me insha'Allah in Jannah. Something beyond our comprehension and more pleasures than we have seen, heard or imagined. And not only that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala finishes that verse, وَهُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ And in this paradise, they will live for eternity forever. I want us to start this Ramadan while we're still in the first week of Ramadan with our eyes on the prize. Our eyes on the ultimate prize of reaching and attaining Jannah, insha'Allah. And while we keep our eyes on the prize and think about that, reflect on what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَهُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ They will be in paradise eternally. I want you for today to take a few minutes of your time to reflect on being in Jannah, in the pleasures of Jannah forever and ever and ever. Take a minute to reflect upon that today and ask Allah sincerely to make you amongst the people of Jannah, insha'Allah. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.